What it do, YouTube? It's Theo Ross, back with another motherfucking video. Hey, Theo! So today, I'm on Reddit. R slash relationship advice. So I read like a quarter of this motherfucking uh, post. I don't want to be that like red pill motherfucker, like no like Sigma male motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But this generation definitely has, I guess you would say, a different type of man. Because, you know, just like yin and yang, with every Sigma... It's gonna be an opposite side to it. So basically the title of this post was 31 male, my 25 female girlfriend, five months mocked me and now I don't know how to handle it. Went to lake house with her fam. We went tubing and my swim shorts kept falling down as I got flung around. My girlfriend loudly made fun of me and yelled butt crack in front of everybody. Not only that, she videoed it and showed. And he goes on to say, so we're at the lake house and I barely know her family. Still had those getters and nervousness trying to act good around them. Now me personally, I know a bunch of other dudes out there and even females probably got this feeling. Like when you meet your girlfriend or boyfriend's parents, you know what I'm saying? Like we all want to make a good first impression type shit. Go out tubing on her dad's boat. Swim shorts were loose on me and I got flung around a lot, obviously. So, I was falling out of my shorts, and I felt it and quickly pulled them back up. It sounds like, uh, you better get your shit together. Every single fucking pair of swim shorts I've owned I've had a drawstring on them bitches, bro. You don't know how to tie a knot. No one said a word or tried to embarrass me. Then, it happened. A final time where it was a bit more than before. This time, she screams, Butt crack! Drawing attention from everyone on the boat. I look over and see her pointing her damn phone at me. I was so embarrassed. I told her after to never do that to me again. Oh my god. See what the fuck I'm saying? Buddy, I get meeting her family. You wanna make a good first impression type shit. But y'all been dating for five months and you ain't noticed this type of humor? And again, it goes back to, why didn't you just tie up your fucking shorts, bruh? I don't know, maybe that's not all that happened. He says, not only did she not give a fuck, she adds me in her family group chat and sends the video of my shorts falling down with half my ass out. After everyone had some drinks, I became the group meme. They were posting my face on plumbers, making puns, zooming in on it, and sending screenshots of it. I literally thought it wasn't real life. I felt betrayed by the person I love. Buddy, you are 31. It's been five months and you love this- <laughs> You said yourself you barely know her fucking family, bro. What? You want to do that between us two? Fine. But to embarrass me over and over in front of her family? I pulled her aside again and told her I can't trust her anymore and she needs to stop. She literally says while laughing, go make me dinner or else the crack becomes a TikTok. Yo, she really hit his ass with the go make me a fucking sandwich. <laughs> Update. For anyone who cares, I know this isn't a huge deal in the scheme of things. Just got a text saying, sorry, love you, and it's on social media. Major fear goes viral. She literally spent time creating a video to get views that use me as a joke. The vid is when your boyfriend joins the fam group chat and learns how to get roasted. Then it's just her showing all the memes of my fucking ass crack. And if you think it can't go viral, I've seen dumber videos do it. And when I say my ass was out, I mean it was out. Waves were hitting and I was holding on to the tube so I really didn't notice or fix it immediately because it kept happening. <laughs> I'm now the butt crack guy. <laughs> oh, bro. Okay, point number one, brother. First of all, you shouldn't give a fuck about what the internet thinks of you that much. I know that's not like a crazy fucking thing to say, but like, I mean, really motherfuckers have really forgotten about that shit in the past like 10 years. It's like, who gives a fuck? Really, unless you a politician, a celebrity, or an athlete. Fucking social media status, it don't make a fuck. Second of all, bro, you literally in the family now. He 31 years old, bro, and you ain't know this? It's like literally every guy finds that shit out at 14. The first time you go over to your crush's fucking house and meet her dad or her fucking uncle, you know what I'm saying? And they're gonna bust your balls, they're gonna talk shit, but it's more or less just like an unspoken thing. Like, okay, you get through this shit, you treat my daughter right, we cool, motherfucker. But nah, buddy got his fucking feelings hurt. <laughs> 
I mean, boo fucking ho, bro. Take a motherfucking joke. You literally made that motherfucking day. Yo stupid ass gonna take this and ruin the motherfucking relationship when in 10, 15, not even that long, bro. Probably like five years from now, that shit gonna be looked back on like a classic. Hopefully shit do work out between y'all. You do realize that she is a decent fucking girl with a decent ass sense of humor. And y'all can all look back on that shit. Maybe y'all go to the lake again one day. And y'all was like, hey, bro, this is where fucking where I met y'all and y'all saw my cheeks for the first time. Like, that's hilarious, bro. I don't know. My point to this video was like, yeah, while you have these like new breed of like alpha sigma, I'm trying to be the most masculine type fucking dude. It's like on the other side of it, you got these like, how do you say like bitch made but nice? I don't fucking know. Bitch made dudes with this main character ass syndrome who fucking cry whenever they little script about their life and their head doesn't go exactly how the fuck they want it to go. Like, buddy, quit being so fucking pessimistic about a goddamn joke about what some motherfuckers on the internet would say about your ass. I don't know, bro. I mean, her pops got a motherfucking boat, so <laughs> hopefully best to him. I just thought that that was kind of interesting. Maybe we just all need to stop taking ourselves so fucking serious and be able to differentiate disrespect from fucking busting balls you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyways man let me know what you think down in the comments if you like this shit be sure to like comment subscribe it's with theo